Hello everybody, uh, Joshua Phillips for Living Reason. Uh, this is my review of Star Wars Episode 8. So, this is a spoiler-free review. The idea is that it's a complete review that doesn't use plot details to describe my main ideas. So if someone's considering seeing this movie, this review is great for you. And it's definitely a good starting point for screaming at each other about movies, I suppose. So as you can see, there's a large fraction written on my board. Um, I was really disappointed. I thought that Star Wars Episode Eight was sort of very mediocre. It wasn't terrible. I was not outraged at what I was watching on screen, but I was just thoroughly unimpressed, which is really unfortunate because there was a lot of amazing stuff in it. Um, so the, the main thing I would say, actually, is that Star Wars Episode Eight. There are these amazing moments in the movie, and there are all these particular things that are fantastic. But you run into two problems. One is that it really sticks out that there are these great moments, and then there's a lot of just media, you know, uninteresting mess to it. Secondly, in my, in my, my sort of experience of it, you can really feel like you're watching a movie where they wrote up, you know, a certain number of badass moments, right? Like story beat number seven or whatever, certain awesome thing we put in the script happens right here. The audience will freak out and start clapping. Then later on, there's like beat number 10. Everyone goes, Oh my God. And they start clapping or whatever. Just, it really felt like I was watching a series of particular, genuinely pretty amazing moments at times that they sort of tried to write in between and failed to, I wouldn't say hide, because I'm not quite sure how you would write, how you write movies, but it felt very synthetic. Like, you know, here's a couple things we want in the movie. Try to sort of duct tape them all together into a narrative. That was my sort of experience. So like I said, about a 5 out of 10. Um, like I said, this is not spoilers, so obviously this is under-detailed. Um, number one, there was a lot of... I hate the term plot hole. There were a lot of details where we'll see... I've only seen the movie once. We will see if people can explain some of the seeming logical irregularities I was noticing. Uh, but in general, and this goes back to my main overview, that it feels like moments that they try to write themselves from moment to moment to moment, as opposed to writing a whole thing, is that when you're watching it, if you ever start thinking about, say, alternative choices the characters have, you start realizing that it might be the case that they didn't bother to think about whether characters could have behaved differently. And I don't mean in the sense of character makes a terrible choice, but it fits the fact that they're irrational or they rush to judgment or something like that. I mean, you're sitting there, and I, this is not really a spoiler because it's not detailed. You're sitting there and you think, wouldn't a military commander consider possible options in their military strategy? Like, if I spent two seconds on something and it sticks out as a really glaring problem, there's a good chance that people trying to explain the movie will not be able to fix it. So without detail, it's hard to explain, but there are a lot of moments where if you start thinking, you start realizing what's going on doesn't quite make sense, or is definitely convoluted in a way that took me out of the narrative. Uh, secondly... The pacing of the movie, there, there's a lot of big action sequences. There's a lot of really high speed pacing. But there's also these moments where you're made to feel like you're watching something that's happening over a long period of time, but it's happening over two or three days. So it's awkward. The pacing's kind of weird. It feels at times like... There is too much to fit into one movie, but they couldn't find a way to cut it out, so they just made the movie go, 
you know, there's just really high rate of action occurring. And sometimes when you're sitting there, you're like, this is a lot of stuff going on. And it feels like I'm watching, you know, a ton of stuff happen as opposed to a narrative happen. Uh, third, or three and four, which is a mix of like the, the comic relief and the sort of Marvel superhero-ness of this movie. Um, my, my like Facebook status after I saw the movie was that I would put this with the average Marvel superhero movie. And I don't just mean in rating, I'd also put it there in terms of what it is. It, it's kind of like an average Marvel movie in a lot of ways. So it was really odd while watching Star Wars Episode Eight was that there's so much comic relief constantly, all the time, regardless of the tone of the scene, to the point that it feels like, similar to my first point, that it feels like it's moments that were written between. With the comic relief, it feels like they wrote a scene, and then they said, okay, we gotta fit three jokes into this four-minute span. That's the quota. Somebody fit a joke in. Um, I actually thought individually a lot of the humor was fine. But once you're an hour or two in, you're sitting there and you're going, wow, there's a, there's a lot of jokey jokes in this movie, which doesn't in certain ways fit the tone of the scenes they're in, of the movie. And I guess the volume of it makes it not work, even if the individual jokes might have been fine in a vacuum. Because you're just watching and you're like, is, is Star Wars thematically supposed to be two hours of explosions and then people making jokes? I always thought it was, it always felt like it was better when it was a movie with a lot of action and some lightheartedness that was also unironically serious for a lot of the time. Like, as an interesting side note, uh, Wonder Woman, which is pretty good, there's sort of a well-known quote by the director, and she said something to the effect of, you know, cheesiness is a dumb term because if you're sincere enough about something, sort of tonally, then it won't be cheesy. It'll, it'll be sincere and people will get that. The problem with Star Wars is it didn't feel like a lighthearted action movie. It felt like an action movie with a bunch of jokes in it. So it was just a weird disconnect. Um, and in general, there was sort of the that marvelness to it, where it's you know very fast-paced. It doesn't feel like it's taking its themes very seriously, but it wants me to, to engage with them. There's a ton of jokes. I found it frustrating. Obviously, people will, you know, there'll be a lot of variation in how funny you think the individual jokes were how annoying you find the constant presence of cute animals designed to sell merchandise to children and their parents is. There's going to be a lot of individual variation in that, I imagine. But it was pretty clear-cut to me that there was way too much humor and that it really detracted from the thematic stuff. So, um, yeah, sort of a rundown. Let's see. See, I would say... I said, I'd give it about a 5 out of 10. I thought it was mediocre. Um, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're probably going to go see it no matter what. So I guess I would mainly say, you know, if you don't particularly care about Star Wars, right? if, you, if you're sitting at home considering seeing this film, and you're just like, yeah, do I really, you know, I've heard some things about it. Should I go see No, you don't need to see it. You're not going to, you know, there, there's some great moments. Um Again, no spoilers, but there's, there's a single shot which I have a lot of logical problems with. But there's a single moment that's just fantastic towards the end of the movie. You know, maybe I'll make a second video discussing spoilers at some point. But there are these moments that are just fantastic. There's beautiful stuff, or thematically or narratively, it's just amazing. But then all the in-between parts are just very either rushed or full of awful jokes or characters acting funny because the script says they're supposed to act funny. So sort of that feeling where there's a, a joke I often make like the badly written TV shows when I'm watching them is 
And now the characters are going to do this, because that's what the script says. To sort of indicate, like, it feels like I'm watching a show where they wrote, and now there's a shocking twist into the script, as opposed to sort of making that twist fit narratively or be shocking. So uh, that's my overall review. I was pretty disappointed. There are amazing moments. Star Wars fans, I'm sure, will enjoy it. Um, I think regular moviegoers will be impressed by how beautiful it is at times and some of the really amazing bits. But overall, I feel like it was a pretty mediocre movie. Uh, again, I'm Joshua Phillips for a living reason. Um, any shares, subscriptions, even if you want to make a response video saying I'm wrong about this movie, I'd be very interested in talking, having some video debate, that'd be great. Please share, subscribe, like, uh, have a nice day, everybody, and happy Christmas.